All right, guys, in this video, let's learn how to show and hide columns in our React table. I'm going to create a new file called columnhiding.js and copy over the code from basic table, paste it in columnhiding.js and rename the component to column hiding. Now we are set to implement the column hiding feature. Step one, we are going to destructure a property and a method from the table instance. All columns and get toggle hide all column props. All columns, as the name indicates, is an array of all the columns supplied to our table. Get toggle hide all column props is a method that lets you hide or show all columns at once. We need to use both of these in the components JSX. So for step two, right before the table tag, I'm going to add a div tag. First, we add a checkbox that can toggle the visibility of all the columns. So let's add a div tag. And to toggle the visibility of all the columns, we make use of the checkbox we had created for the row selection component. So at the top, import checkbox from dot slash checkbox. And we include it within our div tag. The label for this checkbox is going to be toggle all. And on the checkbox itself, we simply spread the return value from calling get toggle hide all column props. It is important here that we use the checkbox we have created earlier because there is an indeterminate state for this particular checkbox. All right, this takes care of toggling the visibility of all the columns. However, we would need to show our height columns individually as well. For that, we make use of the all columns array that we have destructured. So after the inner div tag, pair of curly braces, and then all columns dot map. This gives us access to each column. We return a div tag where key is equal to column ID and then within the div tag a label tag. Within the label tag we add an input of type checkbox. On this checkbox, we spread column dot get toggle hidden props. And this is a function. After the checkbox, we add a label, which is the column header. So curly braces, column dot header. Now, if you wish to, you can reuse the checkbox component here as well. But since this checkbox does not have an indeterminate state, I can simply use the native HTML input. Let's wrap our entire JSX with React Fragment. So that is pretty much the code that is needed. Let's save the file, include it in app.js and head to the browser. On page load, you can see that we have all the columns listed. The first checkbox corresponds to toggling the visibility of all the checkboxes. Rest of them toggle the individual column visibility. So if I click on toggle all, you can see that all the columns are now hidden. Click again and all are visible. 
I can also decide to hide the individual columns. So hide first name and last name. And we only have the remaining four columns being displayed. Toggle all is also in an indeterminate state. First name again, last name again, and we have them in the UI. Hiding columns is a really useful feature when you have a table with a lot of columns and is definitely a feature your users might appreciate. All right, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.